totally doable and it makes you feel better then it's so worth it. Good morning guys, I'm just packing up for a trip. We're leaving town for a few weeks, going to Florida and just wanted to show you the food that I bring with me and the food that I eat when I'm traveling. And so far I was stuck really strict to carnivore as I've been traveling and I am taking this giant cooler full of meat with me. I've got several full chickens um, from White Oak. I've got some stuff from North Star Bison and Billy Doe Meats. And then as for like what I'm going to eat in the car because we're going to be driving for like 10 hours. I made these meat chips and I'm going to share a video of how I made them soon but they're like chips. Mm. Very delicious. But these will be perfect snacks for the trip. And then I also did some meal prepping for the trip where I smoked briskets and I got some frozen smoked brisket here. I'm gonna take some out of this bag and just kind of leave it out in the car so it defrosts and I'm just gonna eat it cold as a meal on our way there. And lately I've been liking just eating partially thawed food that's already been cooked and not reheating it. So that just makes it really easy and um, I don't have to try to eat out or anything like that. And I also have some more brisket that we smoked. When I order from White Oak, they wrap all their meat in these freezer paper things and I just have been reusing them to save my leftovers in the freezer and it works really well because I can write on there what it is and then you're not wasting the paper and throwing it away and yeah I just like trying to do stuff like that. Um, I also have some pork from North Star Bison that I'm going to save for a special treat because they're actually sold out of pork right now which makes me sad but yeah I've got all sorts of stuff in here and that will probably last me for the few weeks that we're there and I think the pre-made meals will also help when I don't want to cook something. Carnivore crisps are also a really great snack for road trips. I'm also going to bring raw butter and I'm probably just going to bring a spoon in the car and eat some on the way as well. Never imagined myself doing that but here we are and it tastes good so it's gonna be a good trip and I'm looking forward to it and this is gonna just make it a lot easier to continue this way of eating while I'm traveling. For the most part I don't eat meat from the grocery store so that's why I'm bringing a cooler full of meats that I've ordered from the farms that I get my meat from. Typically I get my meat from White Oak Pastures, North Star Bison, and Billy Doe Meats. All of those Farms have low histamine meats, which I do really well with, but not just that, they taste amazing and they are regenerative farms, and so I just feel good about supporting those farms, and yeah, so that's what I'm taking with me. guys we made it to Florida we have just a couple hours left <sighs> and I'm ready to go to bed but things are going well this has been a great road trip snack slash meal just putting Redmond salts on it all it is is dried thinly cut New York strip steak Delicious. So we decided to bring the Instapot and our air fryer and raw butter <laughs> and then our meat thermometer with us. We knew that my mom had some appliances there but also my electrolytes 
HCL, I've been taking some digestive bitters and vitamin C, just kind of experimenting with that, and then my iodine drops. Also got my keto chow electrolyte drops and Redmond smoke salts and a little container of Redmond's is so cute. Okay, I've got a roast cooking here. This is Jake's breakfast, bacon from Costco, and I'm gonna put this in the crock pot. So the slow cook roasts are really good for traveling because you can just throw them in in the morning before you go out and do whatever you're gonna do and then when you come back for dinner it'll be ready that's gonna be really nice today we're gonna head to church it's Sunday it's Mother's Day and then we're probably gonna go to the beach a little bit later which still I'm just like so thankful that I'm able to go out and do things and that I'm healing um, and so even though it'd be nice to go out to eat and go to a restaurant Honestly, I'm just thankful to be healing and if that means that I have to be eating this way on vacation That's totally fine with me and in the end you're gonna save money because going out to eat for every meal on vacation is so expensive so Getting a place with the kitchen I would say is probably my number one tip for traveling if it's at all possible some hotels have like mini kitchenettes but you can also rent places on airbnb or vrbo i'm lucky in that this is actually just my parents house so um luckily we got to save money in that way i think cooking on vacation can be really fun if you make it fun and you can always just take meals um, put some foil over it or put them in an insulated container, take them to the beach, take them to the park, even take them to a restaurant if you want to um, with the rest of your family. So it's totally possible to do this way of eating when traveling. This is my very favorite way to make ground meat. It's delicious and easy. I'll put a link to the video sharing how I make it up in the corner here. Okay, got my favorite ground beef recipe by the pool. Ooh, the sun is out. Super bright and beautiful. I'm just gonna take it over here to the table. There's a lizard over there. <laughs> Breakfast on vacation. It's my favorite way to cook ground beef. Egg yolks, raw butter, and whatever type of ground meat you want. I guess this isn't ground beef. It's actually ground elk from White Oak. I'll put a link to White Oak down below. Um, it's so good. <laughs> anyway, just super easy and delicious. And we actually brought our eggs with us in the car because you don't have to refrigerate farm fresh eggs. And so that was nice. So we don't have to try to find an egg source here. And yeah, pretty much just had everything all ready to go. There's the sun, but anyway, great way to start the day. When I was ready to eat dinner, the roast was all done and just falling apart and delicious. Also, don't forget to drink the meat stock from the roast. So this morning, I'm just eating leftover roast from yesterday. It's cold. Typically I freeze leftovers right after cooking it, but lately I've been doing okay with it, as long as I eat it within like 24 hours, then that's good, but if not, then I'll put it in the freezer. And I've actually been enjoying cold leftovers lately, which is really convenient because you don't have to reheat it. It just makes it really easy, especially when you're traveling. So if you like cold leftovers, then that's a really good option for um, traveling and I roasted a marrow bone that I'm gonna dip this leftover beef in and so yeah I think it's just gonna be a delicious breakfast and I'm just enjoying some sunlight by the pool I'm curious if you guys like cold leftovers let me know in the comments down below I I know that I never in my life thought that I would enjoy them and thought that you know all food had to be hot but I've been liking them lately and it's actually <laughs> been really convenient timing with that. So these are just some things that I've been eating as I've been traveling. We haven't traveled a lot during my chronic illness journey, but are starting to more now that I'm getting better. And 
one of the most important things for me when I'm traveling is that we have a kitchen that we can use so that I can cook. I know that does add to the cost sometimes of the place to stay, but typically you'll, in the end, you'll save a lot of money on food because if you don't have a kitchen, you have to go out to eat for every meal when you're traveling and that's just expensive. So having a kitchen is great and um, having pre-cooked meals is really convenient and yeah, I think the crock pot meals are really great to just start in the morning and then you have dinner ready when you're done going on all your adventures on your trip and so yeah i hope this gives you guys a good taste of what i eat when i'm traveling and just some general tips for traveling on the carnivore diet in general it's totally doable and um, if it makes you feel better then it's so worth it so yeah thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and follow along and i will look forward to seeing you guys again very soon how does it feel amazing such speed, such grace. <laughs> Doing great, looking great. It's been too long. Gotta zoom out slightly. Zoom in too far. It's so much fun.